Okay, let's continue on to section two. Let's bring the ACI fabric to life. Connecting an ACI fabric together. If you remember our previous section, we discussed the individual components of an ACI fabric. And we have the APEC. The APEC, as we mentioned, it's going to automate, orchestrate all of our configurations in our fabric, meaning that all my leaf configs, all my fine route reflector settings, all my settings across the board, across the fabric, are going to be pushed from the Apex. So I either log into the UI and configure the object, configure the rules, configure the bridge domains, the endpoint groups, the contract through the GUI, or we can go in API mode where we make API calls using a Python script to automate this particular instruction. So we also mentioned that the leaves are basically connected to the spines. So we have one link to spine one, we got another link to spine two, and we want to make sure that we have redundancy on the apex side as well as the leaf side, right? Let me review what we discussed in section one, particularly in how do we connect everything together. Okay, let's start by drawing the apex, okay? So we got an apex. And then the APEC, on the back of this APEC, and by the way, I mentioned that this is a UCS C220. It looks just like a UCS C220 server. On the back, you're going to have a network adapter or a network interface. This will be a VAC interface, and it will have two SFP ports. What we want to do is get a, an SFP, connect one side of the, this cable or this patch into one of those ports on the back and then connect the other one to the other port. And we want to spread that connection between two leaves, leaf one and leaf two. To review, we have an SFP interface. SFP interface, we connect this to one leaf, we connect this to the other leaf. Why we're doing this? For redundancy. If I lose one leaf, I'm still able to communicate over leaf two. Okay, so now that you saw that, let me go ahead and clean this a little bit, okay? So now that you saw it, and you now know how to connect the APEC, and by the way, those ports, we are just gonna connect them into member ports or end host ports. On the leaves, we don't want to use the far right, no. To connect the APEC, we're just gonna use a member port like we were just connecting any other server onto the leaf itself. Then we have a spine switch on top, and this is where we actually use those ports. So we're going to have the uplinks on the far right. And we just basically connect one uplink to this spine, another uplink to the other spine. And that in a nutshell is a very basic connectivity diagram. We connect one leaf to up to the spine, one leaf down to the apex. And by the way, we only need three apex. So if you have more than, if you see my topology here, I have four apex. And then I got connectivity spread between leaf one and leaf two for APEC one. APEC two is between leaf two and leaf three. APEC three is leaf three and leaf four. So if we have more leaves, that doesn't mean I need to have more APEX. No, we only need three APEX. So we only need to make sure that our fabric consists of three APEX. Okay. So to review, uplink to the spine from the leaves and uplink from the leaf to the APEX. So we use this VIC interface on the back of the APEC and connect those interfaces together. Okay, so let's review. Let's review everything and make sure that you understand how did you connect the ACI fabric together. We start by the APEC. The APEC, we're gonna be using the back VIC interface and we just mentioned that on the back of the server, you're gonna have two interfaces. We're just gonna connect one to one leaf the other one to the other leaf. Leaf one, we connect one port to the first leaf, and then we connect the second port to the second leaf. We can use any end hose a leaf port. And when I talk about end hose leaf ports, this is your leaf, leaf one. Let's take that as an example. We got the interfaces, you know, all my access ports on this particular leaf. And then at the end, we have the uplinks to the spines. We can use any member interface to connect to the APEC because this is just like any other server, okay? Leafs, we connect one designated uplink. This is far right ports, and this is what I was talking about, the uplinks on the far right of the leaf to each spine. 
and this is a QSFP form factor. Those are either 40 or at 100 interfaces. So those are either 40 or 100 gig interfaces. We connect for redundancy. We got one leaf, we got another leaf, and we got a spine. We connect one uplink leaf one, or in this case, any leaf, and then the other one. We want to make sure that everything is connected to all spine, right? So we got leaf one, leaf two, spine one. Let's go ahead and draw if we have a full blown fabric with spines and three leaves. So you have no issues when you first build your fabric. We got two spines, spine one, spine two, leaf one, leaf two, leaf three. We connect one interface to spine one, and this is one of those uplinks on the far right. And then the other one goes to spine two. Same with leaf two. One two goes to spine one. One goes to spine two. And finally, leaf three. One goes to spine one, and the other one goes to spine two. You got it? Make sure always dual connectivity. Spine one, spine two for each leaf, okay? And finally, the spines. We just need to confirm what we just talked about. We need to make sure that we have connectivity from all leaves in the fabric. We want to make sure that every single leaf has an uplink to the spine, okay? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and continue to our next video.